Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and if that beautiful glass back on your iPhone XR is making you nervous, you might want to consider using a back protector. Rhino Shield's Impact Protection Back Protector gives you five times the protection of a normal protector. Let's install this on my iPhone XR in Coral and check it out. Looking at the contents of the box, we have the back protector itself, we have an extra large dust removal sticker, we have a microfiber cloth, and we have a squeegee to push out bubbles. You want to start off by cleaning your phone. Make sure that everything is as clean as possible. If necessary, you might want to use a damp tissue before using the microfiber cloth because if there's dust or dirt that's already on here, you don't want to just be moving it around. Microfiber cloth really is kind of like a last polishing thing before your dust removal sticker. You might need an additional step if your phone is particularly unclean. Next, you're going to want to move on to the extra large dust removal sticker. This is beautifully sized. It's really nice to have such a large dust removal sticker. It definitely helps in the preparation of the surface. Don't ignore this step. It's very important. Any dust or dirt that is trapped underneath your back protector is going to look ugly and compromise its effectiveness, or at least it's definitely going to look ugly. Don't know about the compromising the effectiveness, but it bothers the heck out of me, so I definitely don't want it there. Looking at the back protector itself. Note we have two tabs on here, A and B. The A tab is obviously the one that is going to come off first. Peeling this off is going to peel off the layer that is going to expose the adhesive part of the back protector. So once you peel this off, you're going to want to work quickly. You don't want to leave this exposed to the air for very long or little bits of dust are possibly going to land on it, which would not be good. So before you actually peel this off, you might want to note a few things. First of all, note we have holes here for your flash and your back microphone. You're going to want to make sure that you orient those correctly. And then also, usually, I do a dry run first before putting on a back protector. Look at what the fit should be overall so that I can move more quickly when I actually have the adhesive side exposed. So that will usually result in a better install. So make sure right before you're ready to install that the back of your phone is perfectly clean and dust-free. Then peel this off, carefully position, and install. Carefully position it, line it up, and lay it down. You can use the provided card at this point to help push out bubbles. I tend to prefer using my fingers though. Once you have all of the bubbles out to the best of your ability, you're going to want to carefully peel back B and remove the top layer. Looking at the results of the install, I think that things went quite well. The hardest part was actually lining up these little holes over here. They're quite small, they're off to the side, and they're not something that I've done before, so I found that to be really quite difficult. But once I got those lined up correctly, then everything else fell into place nicely. There were a few bubbles that showed up in the install, but they were generally quite easy to remove. And now that I've got it on here, I think that we have really quite a good look on here. This adds very little thickness to the phone, which is great. We also have a fit here, which is going to be quite compatible with things like bumpers, because you've got plenty of space around the edges here. Of course, this means you don't have edge-to-edge -edge protection for the back of your phone. So if you're looking for that, you're definitely not going to get that with this product. But this is meant to work with Rhino Shield's bumpers, and um, it's designed so that I think that it should work really quickly quite well with them. It'll also work well with some cases, but probably not all. If you're looking at a super tight case, it's probably going to add too much thickness for it to fit properly, but there are many cases that this will fit with as well, so that is good. So as far as downsides for this, I would say that the major one is going to be fingerprinting. Even though this does have an oleophobic coating on here, which is anti-fingerprint, it's only going to help so much, and typically plastic, which is what this is made of, is going to be a lot more fingerprinty than glass glass, which of course is what you were just covering up. So your phone's back by itself is going to be more resistant to fingerprints than the back with this protector on it. But you do get that 5X impact protection, so depending on the way you use your phone, it definitely may be worth it. 
Again, we've been looking at the Impact Protection Back Protector for iPhone XR. This product is available directly from RhinoShield as well as from other retailers, and it has an MSRP of $14.99. Many thanks to the kind folks at RhinoShield for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about this product, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please do consider it because I have lots more great accessory reviews yet to come. Again, this is Kristen with the Impact Protection Back Protector by Rhino Shield for iPhone 10R. Enjoy your iPhone and have a wonderful day.